today we're getting van prepared for a paint tried wet back sanding with a 600 grit came out nice but taking so long and I can't see what I'm doing so took a trip to the tool station got some green scratch right I'm gonna do that because anyway we're doing roller paint that's the biggest helper and uh, this is sanding the back I'm gonna finish with this side last side left got some filler jobbies seams gonna fill out over the back and this side sand it front end as well using the green scotch scotch bright now we're gonna put camera on the time time lapse and enjoy watching me doing uh, some sanding again and a van again masked up quickly gonna cover wheels and get a paint out and start painting first color yeah yeah it's gonna be two-tone so just have a look at the new color Banana-ish This is proper like bright bright yellow Even darker in the real life. So let's get things ready Let's put a time-lapse on and let's start painting side paint it the bonnet and for comparison there's the two colors very easy just take it and then do it for this side I'll put my camera on a on a head I'll try to show you the way I'm doing go all painted first coat looks all right to compare with the new and old color actually when when this color not applied or right not next to it this looked quite yellow but now <laughs> this is much better we'll do second coat tomorrow getting cold today I'm tired I think done a good job for one day sanding masking doing one layer actually two layers got two layers on a bonnet so there's the two layers there's a the one layer you can see that's still clearish you can touch it already gonna do it tomorrow day two that's our bright bright van just kind of decided now should I paint it I think they're gonna in the black I'm gonna paint like this 
following this body line <coughs> should look nice but then it's gonna work good with the plastics and up here so gonna get gear out and start painting again second layer finished and we got cons consistent constant yellow so now I'm gonna put a time lapse on and uh, remove all masking and see how it looks then That's what we got for today guys hope you enjoyed what you've seen let me take you around the... nothing special but comparing with the old color it does look really nice so put it apart half of the uh, well most needed things because tomorrow I only have to use the van and now where you see this line along the whole van bottom of this the bumper and a uh, back bit is going to be painted in the black I'm not sure can you see it but the roof is still the same color so roof going to be black uh, roof box going to be black as well so I did enjoy this, just using, I oh, actually forgot to mention what, what I've been using, so I can leave an eBay link. So it's BC Paints Limited, that's the company supplies it, there you go, that's their website, and they're based in Wolverhampton. Um, Five liter, five liter tub, and I think I used it a third of it, maybe more, but I haven't used it in half. So, if you're thinking to repainting the van, there's really good coach paint. Also, I used it the foam rollers. Foam rollers, they were. Uh, those no good foam rollers from a tool station handles and everything as well from a tool station that's it next stage gonna be painting in the black that's gonna be over a few days work somewhere in the future not oh, I'm not able to do it everything in one go and then I'm gonna get a missing side moldings or trims, paint them in the black as well. And from that line, as I mentioned, there's gonna be some pictures going up like this. So I hope this van gonna look nice. I mean, from the distance, it looks really good. Obviously, when you come to it, you can see the sags. There's few sags and then you can't really see it, but there, in some places quite a heavy orange peel some places would like to have another coat on it but it is what it is I ain't gonna repaint it anymore it's just a van it's just a van so that's it for today's video thank you for staying with me and watching me videos mm -hmm.